Good day, grade 11s. Welcome to lesson 3 in week 13. We're still talking about trig functions, but today we're going to revise the cosine graph. So let's start straight away. Okay, what we're going to do again is we're going to go through using our calculator, and we're going to go through from this time from minus 360 degrees all the way through to 360 degrees. Now before we only went from 0 to 360 and this time we're going from minus 360 to 360 to see what looks what our cos graph looks like and again we're just going to use our calculator. Okay so we're gonna say right cos of bracket negative 360 no that's not gonna work 360 gives us 1. So cos of negative 360 gives us 1. Cos, unfortunately my calculator doesn't stay out, we have to do this every time, minus 270 equals 0. Okay, 0. Cos of negative 180 equals minus 1 and cos of bracket negative 90 equals 0 and let's do 0 cos of 0 equals 1 1 so grade 11s do you agree that what is happening here is we've got, if we let this be 1, we've got 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. So if we had to draw this, you would see that it looks exactly like the cos graph would look if we were drawing it from our 0. But to prove it to you, I'm going to plot these numbers in the calculator just so you can feel confident that I'm not lying to you. So let's do that. Your cos of 90, okay, cos of 90 is going to be 0. So let's write that down, cos of 90 is 0. Your cos of 180, cos of 180 is equal to minus 1, minus 1. Your cos of 270 is back to 0. And finally, your cos of 360, oopsie, let's try again, delete cos of 360 equals 1. So that is 1. So if I have to plot that again, I'm going to go 0, minus 1, 0, 1, because that's minus 1 over there. And that there looks like the graph that you guys should know from the work we did on trig functions last year. So do you see that what has happened is the graph is just repeated. There's the 1 and there it's been repeated again. So what is our amplitude? Our amplitude is the maximum distance from our zero line, our line of zero disturbance, which is just going to be 1. Our range is how far we stretch across the y-axis. So in this case, it's going to be minus 1, 1. And our period is 360 degrees, because it's going to be going from here, and you can see that it repeats itself until that point, and again, up back down to this point. So therefore, the period is 360 degrees. So that is our basic cos graph. And again, grade 11s, you really should be able to draw this. In other words, if I say draw your cos graph, you should just be able to go, oh, it looks like that, where that there is 90, 180, 270, 360, and it repeats backwards. Okay, you need to be able to do that, and obviously the amplitude is one straight off because it's going to help you so much when we get to more complex examples. Now let's see what happens when we change things. So this time we're going y is equal to 2 cos theta, and just like I did in the previous um, lesson on sine graphs, we're basically going to be using the numbers we know and then manipulating it with this. So if we remember over here, it started at 1, went down to minus 1 and back up to 1. So this was going to be 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0 and back up to 1. And that is your 
basic cos graph. But now do you see that what am I doing? I'm asking for y is equal to 2 cos theta. So again we spoke about this. This is the same as n y times by cos theta. So what we're doing, we're multiplying the value of cos theta by 2. So if I change my color, let's change it to red, 2 cos theta is going to be 2 times whatever that is, which is going to be 2. 0 times 2 is 0. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. 0 times 2 is just 0. 2 times 1 is 2. 0 minus 2, 0, and 2. And grade 11s, I urge you, if you don't trust me on this, if you don't understand that what I'm doing is taking my cos theta and just multiplying by this factor of 2 in front of it, put these in your calculator, pop in 2 cos of minus 360 degrees and you'll see it comes up to 2. So I won't be lying to you. So if we let that be 1 and that minus 1 and that 2, and that minus 2. If we plot this, we start at 2, go down to 0, down to minus 2, up to 0, up to 2, 0, minus 2, 0, and 2. Do you see that we've actually got the same shape? We're starting up at the top, we're curving round, we're going through 90 is 0, up again, but what has happened? Do you see that this graph has got a lot bigger within the y-axis? It has been stretched in the y-axis. We've multiplied this graph by a factor of 2. So your amplitude now is 2 because we are 2 units away from the line of zero disturbance. Our range this time is going to be from minus 2 to 2 because the graph stretches down to minus 2 and up to 2 but the period hasn't changed. The period is still taking a full 360 degrees to finish a complete weight. So that is 360 degrees. Right, now we're going to go y is equal to minus cos theta. So again, we're going to do exactly what we did before. We're going to start off by filling in just the normal cos theta. So cos theta is going to be 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. Now, from your knowledge from the last lesson, where we realized that y is equal to minus 1 times the trig function. Last time it was cos th sine theta, but this time it's cos theta. What do you think we're doing? We're just multiplying whatever the cos theta value is by negative 1. So let's do that and let's choose a color. So now we're going to go minus cos theta, which is the same as saying minus time minus 1 times whatever this value is. So minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus 1 times 0 is 0 and I'm just going to quickly fill all those in because they're obvious. Minus 1 times minus 1 is plus 1. Minus 1 times 1 is minus 1. Minus times a minus is a plus 1 and minus times 1 is minus 1. So if we plot this now where again we're making this 1 and this here minus 1, then at, at minus 360 we're starting at negative 1, okay? At minus 270 we're at 0, minus 180 we're now at 1, 90 we're back to 0 and then we're down to minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1. So do you see that we've actually this time flipped our graph just like we did with the sine graph? So the negative in front of your trig function flips your graph, okay? It swaps the x, y values from a positive y value to a negative y value. So that is what this minus does. It flips your graph across the x-axis. So your amplitude is still 1 because we still have the biggest distance of 1 from our 0 displacement. Our range is still minus 1 to 1. And our period is still 360 degrees because we are still going from there to a new complete wave 
in 360 degrees. Right, let's look at another change. Again, y is equal to cos theta, and I'm going to just going to go, so this becomes, should be 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1, 0, minus 1, 0, 1. Now what are we doing? We're taking that value of cos theta and we're adding 1. So whatever this value is, what should it become? It should become that value plus 1. So if we look at cos theta plus 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, 0 plus 1 is 1, minus 1 plus 1 is 0, that becomes 1, 2, 1, 0, 1, and 2. And again, grade 11s, I'm going to say this for the last time. If you don't understand or don't feel confident about what I'm doing here, where I'm saying, okay, we know that cos of minus 360 degrees is 1, so obviously cos of minus 360 degrees plus 1 must be 1 plus 1, which is 2. Pop it in your calculator, confirm it for yourself. Make sure I'm not lying to you. So let's pop these in. So now when it's minus 360, it's at 2, because again, this is 1 and 2, and a minus 1 and minus 2, just in case. At minus 270, it's now at 1. At minus 180, it's 0. At 90, we're back up to 1. At 0, it's back up to 2. 90, it's down to 1, back down to 0, up to 1, and up to 2. So what has happened? Can you see that we've basically taken our cars graph and all that we've done is we've shifted it up by 1. We've shifted it up by 1, where it would normally be going through 0 at this point here, 270, and at 180, it would normally be going through minus 1. It is now at 0. Your amplitude is still 1. Why is it still 1? Because this is our line of 0 disturbance. So the difference between the line of 0 disturbance and the highest point is still 1. But the range, the range is now 0, 2. And we haven't messed with the period at all. It still takes 360 degrees to complete a full curve, cos theta curve. So let's see what we know. We know that y is equal to a cos theta plus q. This starts off at minus 360 at 1, goes through, and this would give us two full waves. Our amplitude, remember, makes this graph either much taller or much shorter. So if the amplitude is very big or bigger than 1, then obviously we're going to have a very big graph. Or if your amplitude is smaller than 1, we're going to have a very small graph. And Q, remember, shifts the graph vertically vertically. So if we've got a plus Q, we are shifting the graph upwards. And if we've got a minus Q, we are shifting the graph downwards. And grade 11, that's it for your revision on cars graphs. Please make sure you know the stuff before we move on to the new work with cars graphs. Have a great day.